Can you settle? Just like, please. I'm settled. My gosh. He's bobbing he's so, so hardcore. He's being so nice. Okay, he's coming back on my lap. Jack, okay, I'm going to move him. Ugh. Welcome to Way Too Broad, a show and tell program for really, really ridiculously excited grown ups. I'm Hannah, and these are my co hosts, Aaron and Ben. Hi, Aaron. Hey, Hannah. Hi, Ben. Hello. Oh, hello. Australian. Y'all, I'm really excited for this week. I got, we got some exciting things to talk about. I want to warn everyone if there's like weird noises. It's probably my cat because he's on my lap right now. It's the ghost that or the cat ghost keeps or the ghost cat <laughs> or the, it's the ghost cat who lives under the ladder in Hannah's ladder collection. <laughs> <laughs> my ladder collection secretly has been a ghost collection this whole time. I also have a feeling that this week is somewhat of a Sleepy Friday edition because I'm catching sleepy bi- vibes from Ben, and I am certainly sleepy, but I might be projecting my sleepiness no, I'm, on I'm, Ben. I'm deaf tired. I'm in a really good fucking mood. Hell yeah. I didn't say I was in a bad mood. I just said I was tired, you fucker. <laughs> well, I'm in a re- really g- <laughs> I'm in a really good energetic mood. I'm excited. You're going to carry us. I'm, you know, drinking. Well, that's a su- that's a spoiler. I'm okay. doing my best to get there while also preserving the integrity of my future bedtime. It's That's a delicate good. balance. Wow, really good description <laughs> of what you're drinking without saying what you're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> well, we actually can get into that, Aaron, because I think that you're up first oh, in great. the what are we drinking. Okay. Yes. I'll just tell you what I'm drinking. I'm drinking... Um, a cup of ice water, and then I'm also drinking some orange cream, fizzy, messy water, and then I'm also <laughs> drinking some third calf messy water. <laughs> what are you drinking, Hannah? I just have one drink tonight. <laughs> I have some um, strawberry lemonade fizzy messy water. <laughs> what? It's happening. <laughs> well, this is one of our upfront things, Ben. So, when we were... Hannah and I were in D.C. to see Beast Edwell's musical, which was amazing. That's the separate amazing. upfront thing. But we, mm-hmm. when we arrived in, in DC after driving to Baltimore, Washington, <laughs> to <laughs> Hannah up, we were eating at this cafe and they had this big vat of like iced water. And then next to it, they had this big vat of iced water with cucumbers and lemons and limes in it. And I was across <laughs> the room getting myself a cup of, of this fancy ice water. And I yell all over to Hannah, do you want a drink? And she's like, yeah. And I go, Regular water or fancy water? And she goes, what? And I go, regular water or fancy water? And she goes, did you say messy water? (laughs) So then we decided that all non-water drinks are now messy water. And instead of saying what you're drinking or what you want to drink, you just have to describe it in terms of what kind of messy water it is. (laughs) And we did that for the rest of our trip. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was really very efficient. I would say much more efficient. <laughs> it took me five minutes to communicate that I wanted an iced latte. <laughs> yeah. But we did get iced lattes eventually, and they were very good. They were very good. So, what, there you go. The system what works. Or messy water description did you end up on? The best one, I think, was um, m- messy cow water. <laughs> Over ice with messy Italian concentrated caffeinated water. Messy water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Mes- yeah. Messy water. Very accurate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what are you drinking, Ben? Yeah. I just have two cups of clean water, regular water. <laughs> Stand- standard clean water. water. It's just clean water. Standard water. Typical water. <laughs> clean-, clean water and messy water. I like that. <laughs> clean mm-hmm. water. Cool. So everyone start using messy water instead of all those other, that other mess of words, because it's not useful. 
It's not as useful as messy water. It's not water, as useful. Is, messy water is much is better. Is it for use only it beverages or all liquids? Hmm. What do you mean? Like, what's another kind of messy water? Like when you pee, you're leaving out your messy water? Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh I think that definitely That's needs amazing. to be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go release some gotta messy go make, water. Make messy water. <laughs> yeah. It does sound kind oh. of like diarrhea, though. Yeah, it does. It does. So, which, which makes me feel like maybe you, we, that's just a, maybe that's like body water. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that spit though, or blood? Body messy water. All of them. Okay. Yeah, body body. Messy, body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because then it gets. You don't want to be guessing whether someone's talking about a potable liquid or. P. But P well, there's also is... like Windex and bleach and <laughs> yeah, you know, there's I other liquids. It, I think messy water needs to not kill you if you drink it. It needs to be like mm. P is still messy water because you c- can technically drink. What if that? it makes you throw I- up a lot? Do you know this from experience? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying, what if there's a liquid that makes you throw up a lot? Is it still messy oh, water? What it, it really sounded like was that you're like, I've had pee before and it makes me throw up a lot. I can't have pee. So can it I still call it, makes it me throw up, I can't have pee. <laughs> <laughs> what if it almost kills you? <laughs> you, have to go, you have to go and get, get an IV fluids and your girlfriend dumps you because of it. Do you mean IV like messy that. water? <laughs> Does she? I don't know. <laughs> mm. You gotta think about we this. We need to have a messy yeah. water conference. Listeners, weigh in. Weigh in. Weigh in weigh on in. the messy weigh water in, situation, brothers. please. Weigh in. <laughs> weigh in. Oh, oh, I get it. What do you say? Uh, I really liked that joke I made. I didn't get to know about it. I said, weigh in, brothers. Weigh in. Weigh in. Oh. Oh. It's brothers. It's brothers. Good joke, good joke. That was Thank technically you. a joke, and you did it. Like that. Weigh in, brothers. Well, that wasn't the joke, That's but good. yes. That is also good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> is it good to have tight yeah, jokes I don't know on why a podcast? You're doing <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah, so we went to... Uh, not really DC at any point. I guess we probably were in the DC city limits. We pretty, pretty hardcore avoided actual DC. We uh-huh. stuck to the uh-huh. suburbs and airport. Yeah. Air- yeah, definitely spent some time at the airport. Aaron even came into the airport. Why am I saying airport so weird? <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I came into the airport because I really had to make some messy water. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I was going to make messy water in my vehicle had I picked you up. So, I did that at the airport. Yeah, there's almost no form of messy water that you'd want to make in your car. <laughs> almost no, no form, you say. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You could, I mean, if, like, if you had a soda stream in there, okay. you could make yeah. some carbonated messy water. That's a weird place for a soda stream, huh? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know Hannah's like, <laughs> Hannah's got that commute life, you know? A She's kind of fizz on the go, you know? I, I don't... I've never made any kind of messy She's, water in my car. She's got a fizz on the way to her biz, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, we had a great time. We ended up staying... Okay, can I talk about the green belt? Yeah. Sure. Briefly. Whatever okay. that is. Um... Aaron and I stayed in a, uh, our hotel was in a city called Greenbelt, and we had some time to kill before we went to check in. So we went to this cafe where the messy water was, and the original messy water, and oh, it was sh- called the New Deal Cafe. You huh? should tell the other funny thing about that cafe. Oh, okay. So, like, online it was, like, <laughs> vegan, like, plant-based, like, completely plant-based. It said, like, plant-based on the front of it. But they had this section in their menu that just said, like, listed off a bunch of different kinds of burgers. And so I asked what they use for the burgers. And the um, the waiter uh, was like, oh, 
Beyond. We use Beyond Burgers. Uh, sometimes we have a full meat burger, but I don't think we have it right now. What? <laughs> yeah. And Ben, Ben, I ordered a coffee and they were like, would you like any soy milk or almond milk in your coffee? And they didn't, I, it w- they had a brunch menu and they didn't have eggs or any dairy. It was completely yeah. vegan, except <laughs> apparently sometimes they have like a full blown meat burger. <laughs> what? That is so yeah. weird. It was so weird. It was According so weird. to the person who worked there. Like, yeah. like I have no reason but to trust that person. Yeah. They seem pretty trustworthy. Wow. Yeah. Like, I couldn't even get a fucking egg. And they were like, <laughs> yeah, except for <laughs> that, like, like, beef burger. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Which we have meat. sometimes. What are the conditions Which- when you do have it? <laughs> like, like, I don't really cook burgers at my house. Like, I cook a lot of meat. I love meat. I love cooking meat. But burgers are, like, so meaty, greasy. Yeah. Like, that, I, I mm-hmm. couldn't think of, like, <laughs> like <laughs> it's amazing. I just, it's so strange. I, so I found out later about that place that it's a, it's a, like, customer-owned, like, co-op. Like, you, like, there are, like. If I go there once, I own it. <laughs> yeah, we no, own but it. there's a group of like kind of like member customer people who like just own it together. I don't know how you get into that club. You probably have to live there. But but yeah, at the um <laughs> at the what yeah, was it at the restaurant. Again? New Deal um cafe. Which we didn't think much of the name at the time. Um but as we we're walking around Green Belt, Maryland, I was like this place looks is like reminds me of like those like uh sort of manufactured suburban places that that, that were like a thing in the like 30s um or what yeah it was the 30s that it was built and um you know we're looking around like at all the plaques and stuff there was this community building that had this like really weird like almost like egyptian looking like big panels of like civic duty stuff Mm -hmm. like on the sides of it and like and uh everything that we could find everything had like a plaque in front of it talking about when it was built and it was all built around the same like few year span in the 30s and so i was like this is interesting i'm going to research this when i get home and it turns out that greenbelt maryland is one of three cities that were built by the government as part of like the whole new deal thing that's cool um and it was supposed to be like the ultimate model for like a perfect, not uh, not a city. A city is not the right word. Like they were trying to get people out of the city, community or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like utopian wow. community. So it was like that's why it's called Green Belt. Is that it originally was built to have a green belt all around the like the main center of of the community, and then so that the um and then like a lot of spaces where people could. Um, like wide places for people to walk without having to deal with like cars and stuff. And like, it actually was, it still was very cute and, Mm -hmm. um, and stuff. Like it was a nice little like downtown area, but it was interesting that like that was designed and built that way in many senses, um, by the government, by like, by like progressive engineer Hmm. things. And then you had to like apply to be Mm -hmm. part of the city and they, and it was like a, Hundreds of people applied and they only had like, um, you know, le- I think maybe less than a hundred like houses to fill when it first. Wow. When it first like, yeah. That's really and cool. It was, the f- so. it was the first one. It was the first one. I thought it was really keen of Hannah to like pick up on that because it was, there was something like strange about it. Like, mm-hmm. um, but I wasn't really picking up on that as much as Hannah was. The, she was really like the New Deal. Huh? Did the New Deal Cafe remind you of that at all? Like, did that spring to mind the New Deal? No, I, the, I actually didn't. Oh, the New Deal Cafe actually was part of like it was right dead center in the middle of this like this downtown hmm. area that was built for. It was like right across the street from a movie theater that they built at that time and stuff. And like, um, it it was part of it. Like, it was part of the history of the place. But it wasn't the thing that made me start thinking about it. We it was did, more like that the was the first center. thing that popped in my head when you said it. Well, we thought well. the New Deal was a New Deal on veganism, which is completely <laughs> yeah. vegan, that, except I mean, that does, sometimes full beef burgers. It's actually a pretty clever name. 
<laughs> in, in that way because it's like we're the new thing because veganism being popular is like a new thing and then also it was built in a town created by the new deal i like it yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah it was interesting. so anyway that was interesting mm-hmm. we just like landed there. that was a coincidence yeah coincidence yep yeah that's very cool and then and, and then it was ahead. kind of strange too to get to our hotel we had to drive through a wendy's drive through <laughs> that's what? Yeah, true. really I mean, we didn't have to drive all the way through, but it might have happened. <laughs> I definitely like made a joke like, "Now go into that Wendy's." And then we and then we both laughed and then we realized we had just missed the turn because that was where we were supposed to go. <laughs> it was really we were really supposed to drive into the Wendy's drive. <laughs> it was weird. But yeah, that was a it was a great little weekend trip that we did it was so it was so nice Mm -hmm. we saw a kitten um Mm -hmm. before the show the show was fucking incredible incredible when when did you see a kitten why and how (laughs) (laughs) you just threw that in when did you like just a stray kitten um i think it might have been just only mildly separated from its family i think it was like an astride kitten yeah, yeah. I remembered randomly last night that when Hazel was uh, first found, she couldn't meow. And the mm-hmm. there's like this... I forget the name of the website. Let me find it real quick. Um, there's this like pet uh, kind of website. What the fuck is it called? There's this pet kind of it's website. It's called family, familypet.com. Mm-hmm. And... They wrote an article about her called Stray Kitten Lost Her Meow. And it was kind of like an article and also like a way to promote this cute kitten who was up for adoption. Um, and they talked about how like right when right when she was found, she like right away was climbing on uh, the woman who found her. His name was Jackie. who was climbing on her shoulders and like wanted to cuddle real bad. And was, like, Mm -hmm. trying to yell and get attention by yelling. And then, like, by after a couple days, she started to squeak a little bit and then started to squeak all the time. And it was just, like, number one, there are a bunch of pictures and a video of Hazel when she was a kitten in that article. Mm -hmm. And she's so fucking cute. And then (laughs) also, like, she does all that stuff still. Like, she, now that she, Mm -hmm. and she can definitely meow now, but it's still a little bit squeaky. And she still, like, yells when she wants attention and when she wants to cuddle. She'll, like, follow you around yelling. And also, she loves to climb on shoulders. And it's just so nice. (laughs) Wow. And so I also got sentimental and posted a thread of, like, I took pictures from the article and put them side by side with more recent pictures of (laughs) Hazel that were similar. I saw like, a bunch of before and afters. And it's just... It's so cute. I want everyone to, in the world she's to see it. She's such a beauty. Yeah, she's so But pretty. I cracked the code on why she couldn't meow. It's because in this picture, she's clearly a little baby owl. <laughs> yeah. And just had to become yeah. a cat. Yeah. You're right. When you're right, you're right. You know? When you're, and you're right. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. My voice. Oh, my goodness. My voice. <laughs> oh, my lord. There's a fire. <laughs> what is that from? <laughs> It's from, like, that lady who said that in the news one time. <laughs> really oh, my lord, there's a fire. Oh, my God, did you see <laughs> the guy <laughs> who, the the Philly guy who, like, helped save a bunch of people from a burning building or something, and then while he was being interviewed, he was a, he's a, an Eagles fan, and, like, managed to throw in how upset he was with the Eagles while he was being, like, interviewed as a hero for saving people from the fire. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he was like uh, people were like throwing they were throwing babies out the window and we were catching them and then he like was, looked at the camera and was like unlike Aguilar which is like the name of a receiver on the Eagles who kept dropping passes or something <laughs> <laughs> fucking hilarious oh my <laughs> was god like, this is the most Philly shit I've ever seen in my life <laughs> wow that's pretty amazing people just um, love their sports People in their sports. These people. Did I mention sports. on Pod love that the Red Sox have been eliminated from the postseason already <gasps> before it started? Oh, Ben, does that mean they can't World Series? It does mean that they can't even ben, try. What to. They just were bad this year. <laughs> Those people in their sports, they love them. They uh, <laughs> they fired their GM also, 
And then apparently the owner announced today that they're going to try and slash payroll, which means might have to uh, give up one or more of the core team from the 2018 World Series, which just well, sucks. Like, that just seems like a not a way to win the World Series next year or yeah, even get in but it. But there's a whole, like, there's a mm-hmm. uh, thing where in baseball where if you if you pay if you're if with a bat (laughs) there's a thing in baseball where this person on the mound throws the ball and the person with the bat has to try to hit it it's so weird no there's a thing called i forget what it's i think it's called luxury tax or something where if your payroll is too high you like have to pay a fine on top of that to the league or some some shit like that wow and the red sox had the they had the highest payroll in the, in the league in 2018, I think maybe this year too, at the start of the season. So yeah, they had to cut, they're cutting stuff because they're tired of that. Wow. Dang, I'm going to the last game of the season on Sunday. Oh, you are? Sounds like it's going to be pretty sad. Yeah, they're, all, yeah. they're playing the Orioles, who are just really, really bad too. It's just going to be... Oh, maybe they'll win. Probably, but it'll be even you, you, sadder if they don't. Won't even be- they probably won't even be playing baseball. They're so bad. Both of them are so bad. <laughs> they're just like, going to play cricket. The, the, the fans won't care because these people in their sports, they just love, they love <laughs> they just them. They love just love them. them. <laughs> um, who else has up front uh, stuff? Your mom. I have an up front thing. Tomorrow oh, okay. is Pride in Durham. Oh, that's right. I'm Durham does it at such a stupid time of year. <laughs> I know. I know. I got a fresh gay haircut for it. I am excited. I got <laughs> a bunch of rainbow things. It's going to be Is that be why you've got the rainbow bra you mentioned a couple days ago? You know, it's not why specifically, but it's definitely going to be worn tomorrow. Not like under everything. Yeah. Like it's going to be, you know, def- obviously not, you know, the only thing, but. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's definitely a factor, you know. I'm not gonna that's say it's cool. not. <laughs> I like how analytical yeah. you're being in your decision to buy a rainbow bra. This <laughs> is I had to, you know, write a pros and cons <laughs> column. <laughs> yeah, so we hold it in September because it's quote unquote less hot. It's gonna be a high of ninety tomorrow. Jesus, I mean, get out of here. Global Holy warming, shit. it doesn't exist anymore. I mean, global warming does, but less hot doesn't. <laughs> um, I do want to also, we told more of a story about the place where we stayed than the, the musical itself. But, like, just to emphasize, like, the a letter to my ex, the musical, which is B. Stedwell's musical, which I don't think has the words the musical in it, was fucking amazing. It was, it was so good. Really fucking amazing. And we sat in the front row, which like yes. was awesome and paid off and we got pulled at the the closing number was this yep. like big dance thing and we got pulled up on stage oh, really? and we mm-hmm. danced mm-hmm. with the cast and with B mm-hmm. and it was mm-hmm. awesome. It, it was so fun. Yeah, yeah, I think she was in the cast. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know. She might have just no, written it. We were laughing at you. We were laughing at Hannah and I kept kind of like as a soothing mechanism. I don't know. Kept being like, she's going to be in it. She's going to sing in it. Like, which she did, of course, a lot. But, but then it evolved into like, like, I think she's in this music. <laughs> like we just said that we found opportunities to like bring that up to each other gotcha. a lot. Yeah. So it was um also like Aaron and I were both the reason we started talking about that was because we both were like, Man, I'm I'm excited for this musical, but I'm nervous that I'm not gonna like the songs a- as much as when B sings them because she's got such an amazing voice. Like that's what we really walked in thinking. But like the entire cast was so incredible. Mm-hmm. Like there was not like a weak link in the entire mm-hmm. thing. They all sounded wonderful together. Mm-hmm. It was amazing to hear. She's so good at building these harmonies. She's been mm-hmm. doing it with loop pedal for so long, but then she had the chance to, you know, spread those harmonies out across like 14 people. Like it was amazing. Was it and a song all- through oh, thing sorry. or was it, uh, was there a book also? <laughs> there was a book. Did she write that yeah. too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. And it was very it funny wow. and good. Like, 
Yeah, yeah. 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 It was <clears throat> it was really good, and all of the new songs, like the songs that we didn't recognize, I think there were about three that we did recognize, mm. and then the, the rest yeah. were like new and all were new. awesome. Like I so can't good. wait for them to to come out. I I'm hoping mm. there's going to be some cast recording. Because they're oh, just, man. like, I that can't be the first and only time I hear them. Like, they're just right. amazing. So Agree. Agree. Everyone needs to see this musical. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get someone to put it on in Cape Cod. Yeah. But I haven't, I haven't like, gotten into the nitty gritty of that yet. Yeah. But I'm going to try to. Assuming you haven't actually tried yet. <laughs> no, she has. I did. I have tried, but I, uh, I have more stuff to nail down and there's more people I want to reach out to. Gotcha. I just haven't had time. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, no, Hannah's like wheeling and dealing it actually. <laughs> <laughs> With B Steadwell's like full support. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm trying. It's It's been hard to it's only been a week. I'm not going to beat myself up over not having made yeah. a deal yet. <laughs> Listen, you're <laughs> yeah, you're you prison and busy. You up gotta for motivation? Do you want me to beat you up for motivation to get your deal done? No. Did you say I'm not beating myself up for not having a new deal? Oh, (laughs) yeah. Uh, No. Just say it now. Go back and edit it in. I'm not going to beat myself up for not having a new deal. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Oh, that's good stuff. Cafe, am I right? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Woo! We could end this thing right now. <laughs> Wrap it up. Well, we're just Can getting tell, started. Let's do I want to tell a quick story about the word wow. Oh, wow. When, okay. When uh, Kylie was in D.C. recently, she went and saw Cirque du Soleil show with some of her coworkers. And as part of the show, you know how at Cirque du Soleil shows, there's always kind of like one clown type person at the beginning who usually is the only one that, like, speaks at all, and they kind of, like, are always kind of doing something between the scenes, like in the interstitial parts while they're setting stuff up. <laughs> um, this one, the one in that show apparently, like, said the word wow a lot in a really funny way. <laughs> and so, like, Kylie will, when when whenever, like, there's an opportunity to say wow, she'll, like, say it a couple times like, as she described, the guy says it in the Cirque du Soleil show. And so it's, like, a reference that's kind of only for her. But I, like, <laughs> I get at this point, so, like, it makes me laugh, too. And it's just, like, a, it's just a really funny experience where, like, I'll sometimes start doing it. And I'm like, wait, I wasn't actually, I wasn't even there. But I'm still Can you give us an example? Thing. Like, give us a recreation. Of yeah. the wow? Yeah. yeah. It's like. Wow, 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 wow. It's like it's it's a bunch of little like it's like rapid succession little ones kind of. <laughs> Is she like trying to get it like say it in the way that he said it or did he That's say how it he like did that? It. Like like he he it's like he spoke with the word wow. Oh. Kind of. Not not oh, totally, but oh. like kind of like that. Like he would have up different inflections and do them all like That's in a row. Funny. Yeah. Speaking of like saying an inside joke to yourself, while uh, we were in Maryland, I was hanging out with a lot of cats, and one of mm. the cats, Bernie, has really great beans. Mm. And I was just touching his beans, and I kept saying out loud to myself, "You know where their beans get." <laughs> Which is the name of one of our episodes. <laughs> and just a sentence that I fucking love. And I just kept, I would little squeeze his little beans and just say out loud over and over again, you know where their beans get. And Molly was, eventually was like, like snapped. And it was like, I don't know why you're saying that. <laughs> So that's what happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. 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 <laughs> wow. wow. You know where their beans get. That's just a sentence I really love to say. I find it very soothing. Oh God. That's so good. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. You know where their There's- beans get. <laughs> I think it's episode 52. Oh, that's a long time ago. I think ago. I said it. Hannah said it. You yeah. said it. It was about beans. That would be Cat just beans. about a year ago, huh? Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Wow. 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 Wow.
Wow, that's kind of the that's kind of the main one. Wow. 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 Let's get into it. Let's Shall we? It. Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> um Aaron is first this week. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> okay, um this week you can't you can't blame me because I think it's I think it still counts. My obsession is the Bon Appetit Foodcast, <laughs> which is their podcast. Oh, I didn't know they had a podcast. Oh. Who hosts it? Adam Rappaport, the editor in chief oh. of Bon Appetit, and wow. Claire's he harshest critic for gourmet makes. Oh, really? Yeah. He calls it Bon Appetit, oh. and I was like, mm, I'm not gonna change the way I say it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I started listening to it. Uh. I guess on, um, we were in Maryland, so I was listening to it while I was driving around, and then I listened to it a lot yesterday when we were coming home, and it's just a freaking delight. You know, it has all those fricks on it who I've been watching videos for, and, and so it's, it just feels like hanging out with those fricks when I can't be looking at a, at a screen. It's like I can, I can have a constant stream of Bon Appetit <laughs> content no matter what I'm doing. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so. Whoa, there are a lot of episodes he... of this thing. Yeah, they've been doing it for a bit. Who's he have on usually? Um, so. The episodes I've listened to so far, I mean, I listened to one this morning. He had, um, it was an old one. Um, I, so, uh, well, I'll, I'll finish the sentence. I was listening to one a year back because I wanted to listen to more fall ones because I was listening to summer ones and hearing all sorts of great summer recipes that I like can't make anymore because the produce is kind of like fading mm-hmm. out. But I was listening to old one. I had Chrissy Teigen on oh, wow. to talk about her, her. newest cookbook. Yeah, that was such a fun uh, episode to hear her talk about, like, just, like, everything. She's amazing. Um, you know, uh, Carla Lolly Music is, uh, has been on there several times. Um, what's his face? Andy. What's hmm. his face? Has been on there. You know, Chris, hmm. uh, who is one of the chefs. Just, like, all of the f- flips that I know so far. I, Brad and, uh, um. Claire. Claire haven't been on yet that I have listened to, but um, they had a her, their wine person on there. Um, that was fun. The, my only gripe about it, and I will say this, but I find this a lot with a lot of podcast hosts in that interview style, mm. <clears throat> is that uh, Adam Rappaport is an interrupter. Mm. He's just – I'm not saying I'm an interrupter, certainly, but in that interview style, it drives me up a wall. When somebody mm. asks some, you know, has specifically has somebody on to like get their expertise or their opinions or thoughts about something and then like asks the question and then doesn't wait for them to finish and like interjects with like his own thoughts. It does, it's hit or miss. Sometimes it's really bad. Sometimes like Chrissy Teigen, you, you can't interrupt her. She like <laughs> steamroll through you. So I really enjoyed that. But um, there was there was an episode where I felt like I might have been projecting, but I felt like the it, interviewee was was feeling a little annoyed about it. But huh. that was only like one eight, one time that I felt like mm, one time okay, about it. <laughs> one time. Um. Otherwise, it's been just really delightful. Adam Rapport is is like <laughs> really jovial. And um, <laughs> enthusiastic, and and kind of sounds like he's salivating just a little bit, like like an appropriate amount when he's talking about this food. So um, <laughs> I like it. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Dope as hell. Yeah, I could t- I could definitely see him being an interrupter just based yeah. on his little totally. cameos and stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it adds up. Yeah, I'm really a fan of Chris lately. Chris is like my new main fave at this moment. I like him a lot. Oh, I watched the noodling like, video, by the way. You did? Yeah, it was What'd you think? Just it just wild. <laughs> I started it. It's just a wild, <laughs> wild ride. <laughs> it's a good crew they've got a group they've got over there and crew. A group. Like they're all Croup. A crew. They're all Croup. It's a good croup. They got the croup. They got- <laughs> <laughs> They shouldn't be cooking. <laughs> yeah, it is really impressive. Like, I mean, 
I know because of you guys about their YouTube channel, but it's like a whole proper thing. Like they've, they've, I mean, it's like a whole, it's a whole thing. Yeah. Their, their YouTube videos, I mean, they've got almost 5 million subscribers and, uh, it's, I think really one of the, one of the things that kind of has been wildly successful for them. And I think as such, like their content is getting so flipping good mm-hmm. on all of their platforms. So, oh, speaking of fucking investing in content, did you see the video that just came out um, with the, you know, the series they're doing with Molly Baz, where they like have her learn to do a thing? No. Oh, I know of it. The the latest one they got. Um, Hamon Iberico de something that means they only eat um uh chestnuts their whole lives or something. It's like fifty it's like a fifteen hundred dollar a pound or something, or five hundred dollars a pound. Five hundred dollars a no hundred fifty I don't remember. <laughs> it's very expensive. <laughs> it's like two million dollars from- an ounce. I don't <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I saw. I got, money. I got an email about it. I think, but I haven't checked it Did out. Did Molly yet. email you? <laughs> Molly Baz gave me a call. <laughs> you know what's funny? I got an email from Bon Appetit today that says, "Get to know us," and I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 "I know you." <laughs> <laughs> It's a fifteen hundred dollar leg of ham. Holy shit! A slice. One hundred fifty thousand a slice. Thousand. One hundred fifty chestnuts a dollar. It's, it's, you're on the train going south at two hundred miles an hour. And it's like a leg of ham going two thousand miles a dollar backwards. A chestnut. The train a chestnut is a th- Two hundred dollars, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> it's good. You should watch it. I will. I will absolutely watch that. That is. That is definitely. I'm gonna. I'm gonna even like go and find it and add it to my watch later section. Yeah, you should because it reminded me of you. Because of how often Instantly. you're legs of ham. Molly Bass. <laughs> Let, listen. Well, I love a charcuterie. I would love to 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 get a big piece like that. Fifteen thousand dollars of a slice, a little shave, at fifteen thousand dollars a shave. Fifteen thousand dollars a shave. Here we go. If that's not the goddamn title of this episode, I'm gonna riot. <laughs> Save to watch later. It's done. She looks <laughs> thrilled. <laughs> she was. That's a good series. I'm just saying that must that was an expensive series to do or episode to do. Yeah, and they can do it because they've been just on their bullshit. Yeah, they're just really all over it. You know, when it first happened that I got I was getting into Bon Appetit because of you fricks, <laughs> I was like, how do they afford this? Great! I'm getting this great magazine for fifteen dollars a year, and now I'm like, oh yeah, they're they're doing okay. maximizing revenue everywhere else. Yes, they're also part of a that's my stuff. Do they make money company. on? Company. I mean, they're make, probably making a lot of YouTube ad monies, but there's not ads in them, is there? Yeah, there are. I, th- I think so. Are there? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I watch an ad every time I'm. Hooking up for a nice block recipe. On? Yeah, here we go. No. Look at that. Oh, okay. That's well, an yeah. ad. Nice. So that'll do it. I think I've that'll I think I've four point four six million fifteen thousand dollars of bingo. I think they're getting it. <laughs> I think they're, they're getting, getting it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, that's great. I'm glad that you're helping them get it. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> With my time. Yeah. <laughs> that's my obsession. Awesome. And I'm sticking to it. Uh, Great. Great obsession. Thanks. Great 
podcast. <laughs> yeah. You're going to see all your, I you're hear all your about friends this soon. this podcast that we're recording. Just like in the middle. This, yeah. This is going great. <laughs> yeah. Good session. This is a good podcast. <laughs> we're doing the thing that we set out to do. <laughs> yeah. That is what I meant. Um, yeah, it's nice to hear those fricks. So check it out. You'll like it. Check it out. I'll check it out. All right. Ben is next. Ben despite is Despite the order that we did drinks in. Ben is next. We fucked up with the drink order, Ben. We didn't fuck up. We did you messy water. understood why no, it was necessary it for yeah. the joke. For the bit. We did it for the bit. <laughs> for the yeah, messy bit. That's just how it goes. We did it for the vine. Yeah. So my my obsession is... Uh, uh, it's a it's a comedy television program. Uh huh. It's I'm sorry, it's not TV. It's HBO. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's called The Righteous Gemstones. What? Oh, have you guys heard of it? Nothing's called. Nothing's called. Did that. I talk about it <clears throat> on Pod? No, I've never heard that in my. I feel life. like I might have mentioned it as an upfront thing. No, Briefly. I've never heard it in my life. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a Danny McBride thing. Oh yeah, you mentioned. Didn't that. I? No, it kidding. wasn't an obsession. No, you right? didn't. Ben, Are you, sure? you didn't mention. I'm this. like having deja vu though. Like I've heard of it, but I, I could have just heard of it elsewhere. I don't know that it was from you. You know, I was thinking about that this weekend. About that's a place. There's a place in your brain. That's whose function is to store. Okay, I haven't talked about it. What, what you told, who you told what to you. Wow. <laughs> There's like, it's like an index. There's like a whole index in your brain of like what mm. things you've told the who. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. And it's pretty good. It's, <laughs> I feel like for what it is, it's remarkably good for all of the people that you talk to. Mm. You can like pretty That's- reliably, except Ben right now, despite <laughs> my pleading with him. <laughs> but like generally, it's pretty spot on. Continue, Ben. I've never, I've literally never heard okay. this. I'm not dragging it's, you about it's this. A, really it's a Danny it. McBride show, as in he created it and was part of writing it. Um, and you guys know who Danny McBride is, right? Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. because you told us all about this show. <laughs> Stop talking about it. <laughs> it's also starring uh, John Goodman and um, Adam Devine from Workaholics and other stuff. Oh. I don't like him. You don't like him? Is that is that not fair? Why don't you like him? I don't know. Maybe I just haven't seen anything where I found his character likable. Hmm. Uh, did you see Workaholics? No. Well, he certainly wasn't likable in that I don't think any of them. Anyway. That's true. I do feel like he usually plays, like, asshole characters. Yeah, yeah like, that's probably I, why I feel like he's an asshole. Continue, he's not, it's not I don't important. think he is, though. In, okay, in, that's in good. In IRL. And then also stars um, Edie Patterson, who is not as well known, but she's been on Comedy Bang Bang a lot, and she playing a really fucking hilarious character named Bean Dip. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and she was also in the Between Two Ferns movie. She played, like, the uh, the the boss at the public access station. Oh, she was really yeah, funny. And she, that <clears throat> accent and like character she was playing was basically bean dip. <laughs> um, <laughs> but she's, and she is like outstanding in the righteous gemstones. I, I think she should get an Emmy for it. She's so good. Um, huh. it's about, what's it about? It's about like a huh. televangelist family. <laughs> like it's basically, it's like loosely oh. based on the bakers basically. Um, Oh, like a super rich televangelist family, and before the events of the show, the mother, Amy, their last name is Gemstone, so I call the righteous Gemstones. Amy Lee Gemstone, like the matriarch, dies, and mm. this is kind of like the aftermath of that, of them trying to like keep everything together. Um, Walton Goggins is also in it. Do you know him? I don't know who that is. You, I think you recognize him if you look him up. We're, oh, we're yeah, him, I recognize yeah, he's him. He's like been in a lot of things. He just. He's one of those faces that I feel like pops up everywhere. Um, mm-hmm. And he's really, he's al- always really good. Um, but yeah, and also there's like a whole, I mean, this is all in like the first episode. There's like a whole uh, blackmailing mm. thing that's like kind of the main driving plot is someone is blackmailing 
Danny McBride's character, his name is Jesse Gemstone. He's the, like the eldest child of the family um, because he did a bad thing. I'll oh. let you watch. The, I'll let you watch the show. Um. Oh. So did I say yeah? Blackmailing, right? I said blackmailing, not bribing. Yeah. yeah. Bri- I don't know mm-hmm. what is wrong with my head today. I'm very tired. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it was looking a little smaller than normal. <laughs> As we all know, when we get tired, our heads shrink. <laughs> I mean, in this my family, does. yeah. In this family. <laughs> it's the whole this thing. family, our heads shrink. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really great. It's very funny. Uh, Tim Baltz is also in it. He was in. He's a real funny guy who was in Bajillion Dollar Properties and other some other things. He plays. Yeah, like he him. plays Edie Patterson's boyfriend, who's like the the like kind of only somewhat progressive character in the show, and just like uh, he's very funny. He's a, he's a funny so, name. BJ, that's the character. When so like when you say like a Danny McBride show. And you, the actors that you've mentioned, most of them, what I think of is something like, well, I had never actually watched Eastbound. I didn't either. But like, but like something like, a, like more on the like totally absurdist side, like that, that like leans heavily on the comedy and not a ton on the sort of drama end of things. Yeah. I mean, he, they're, uh, he, they're like very over the top in terms yeah. of like the, okay. the like extremely wealthy televangelist thing and just like very obviously greed driven Mm. um but i think there's there's an element there's still like some serious somewhat serious drama in it well like even the production i mean like i don't know it looks the way that it is shot makes it look a little more serious than something like eastbound i haven't seen i haven't i didn't watch eastbound and down or vice principles it was his other kind of big show um, I didn't watch either of them either. So I don't really know how it compares, honestly. But it's definitely you know, we can't really speak. It's on definitely it, huh? super over the top and and like mainly focused on the comedy aspect of it. Okay. Um, looks good. Yeah, it's really great. I like it quite a bit. Nice. Cool. I have to watch it. Yes. It's got a it's TV. got a song, an original song in it called "Misbehaving" that was actually written by Danny McBride and Edie Patterson uh, that just gets stuck in your head for days after you hear it. Cool. Yeah. We'll look forward to that. Oh my gosh. Speaking of songs getting stuck in your head for days. Oh, something. Okay. Sorry. I was, I'm getting like weird feedback or something in my head. Ghost cat. Hello. 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 Hi. Okay, that was Hi, Hannah. Hi, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> meow. Uh, that, was the, that was the ghost cat. I didn't meow. <laughs> or hear it. How did it become a ghost cat? <laughs> I thought it was just a ghost in a ladder. Well, why no, would Jack it see it if it wasn't a cat? Jack can only see cats. I feel like it, it was a ghost cat, like, at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> All right, if you say hey, who so. lives under your ladder collection? Yeah, I think okay, Aaron that is right. does make sense. Yeah. So anyway, I was what I was gonna say is um, I when we were at the um, at the show this weekend, last weekend, I um bought this like USB card thing that had on it all of B. Studwell's music that she has mm-hmm. like so far released. And, um, it, like, I was planning on putting it in my computer, but, like, on a whim, I plugged it into the USB thing in my car, and it absolutely just immediately started playing, like, a CD, and it made me so happy. And, and can I tell you, I'm hearing all new dimensions of so many of her songs that I've known for a long time, just because the audio quality is, like, so much better when for it's real? playing from USB. I didn't yeah, know you yeah. could do that. Me neither. But oh, my God. Fascinating. Yeah. I never really believed, like, I know technically that the, that streaming something from online makes it, like, less, gives it, like, less fidelity to when it was recorded. <laughs> yeah, duh. I, I, I'm an audiophile. <laughs> <But> I never... <laughs> wow. <laughs> the bit rate is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, 
<laughs> I never found it particularly noticeable until this moment. The Righteous Gemstones. I'm going to watch that. Yeah, that's, sure. my, that's my shit. It's done. Do your thing now. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Hey, good, good one, man. Thanks, up top. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny because we're all in different states. Oh. And Ben and I are like... It's Ben's in California, and I'm in North Carolina. <laughs> Get I <high> five. <laughs> We're at fifteen thousand hundred. Five piles of chestnuts. Cinema. Sixty sixty million chestnuts. <laughs> A pound. Uh, A pound. A slice. <laughs> A shave. <laughs> a shave. Uh, a shave. Um, okay. You want to hear my obsession? Please, God, yeah. just tell us. I was Stop hiding. So it. nervous. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I was so nervous that it was going to be Ben's because it's been it's like been- Ben and I seem to have. So- <laughs> ben you were nervous seem- it was going to be Ben? Are you obsessed with Ben? <laughs> no. Sorry. No. No. I'm very proud of Ben. Yeah, we're all proud of Ben. Yeah, yeah, he's a good brother. But, um, no, I was worried because, actually, I shouldn't have been because you're not really on Twitter anymore, Ben. But, like... Oh, I sure um, am. Not sure why yeah, you got that oh, impression. Yeah, you, that's true. <laughs> you were off it for a while, right? No. Not really. I was. Kind of. I am. I know you are. Aaron. I don't. But what am I? <laughs> 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 but... <laughs> Okay. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> we have to let Hannah talk. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> I was nervous that Ben and I were going to have the same session because, like, Ben and I seem to run in similar Twitter circles, and like, usually, if I'm seeing a lot of something on Twitter, there's like a decent chance that. Can ben I guess what it, it is? Session. Okay. Is it Root yeah. Tales of Magic? No. Damn it! Fuck. If I tell you, it's a it's a game. I don't know if that's a game. It's not a game. It's not a game. You? Is it the Last of Us Part Two trailer? <coughs> no. Oh well, that was really exciting too this week. They found, there was a release date for the Last of Us Part Two. Now it's the week after Kylie's yeah. birthday, or week before. Oh wow! Yeah. Well, I guess you know you're getting yeah. her. Easy peasy. <laughs> easy peasy. Lemon <laughs> um, easy. It's a Switch game. <sighs> Is it Fire Emblem? No, Ben. I'm just I gonna don't tell know. you. Is it Switch Blade? <laughs> <laughs> it's untitled it's called oh, Untitled Goose Game. I did see a lot about this. What's it called? It's called Untitled Goose Game. Oh. I saw a lot about this, but I know absolutely nothing about it. I just saw people excited for it. Um, people are gobbling about it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gaggling. Honkin honkin honklin <laughs> Honkle fifteen thousand honkle honklins <laughs> to to a g- goose twenty dollars a goose pound. <laughs> Jack's coming up. Come on. Come on. Cat wow, he's been a good boy. <laughs> Jack. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh, he did it. Yeah. Aww. Good job. Good job. Lay down, please. Okay. <laughs> Just push him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll push him. <laughs> he's fine. He's 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 comfy. Um, okay, so Untitled Goose Game. Is a game for the Switch. It came out uh, sometime in the last couple of weeks, I think. And we just bought it tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, so we will tonight. play. <laughs> Remember that song, guys? <laughs> like that one, yeah. I like that song. And and uh, we've only... So we've played, like, the first... You start off um, in, like, this garden, and you play a goose... And there's the, here are the designated buttons that you have. You have like, obviously you can move around with a joystick and you waddle around on your little goose feet. You, yeah. And the animation is really cute too. Um, you have a honk button, a designated Aww. honk yeah. button. Yeah. You have a, um, one that like makes you like lower your neck so that you can pick up things that are low on the ground. Or it's like kind of makes you sneakier because people can't see your head sticking up. Um, you have a, a run button, but when you run, your little feet like slap on the ground, so uh. you're more noticeable. Um, you have oh, one that makes you you're able to flap your arms out, um, or your wings. They're wings for the when you're a bird, <laughs> so it kind of makes you look bigger. And um, 
I think that's, oh, and then you have like a zoom in and a zoom out button, which helps when you're, cause it's kind of a puzzle game. So it helps sometimes to see more of the screen. Um, so, um, basically you just like, you almost immediately have like a list of things to do. Um, that is given, it's like, it, like, it looks like a shopping list that was written by someone with really n- neat handwriting, but the things on it range from like, have a picnic to, um, get, get the groundskeeper wet. Like, you know, just like <laughs> all kinds of like mischief, <laughs> like make a groundskeeper wet. <laughs> yeah. Or like, rake in the rake in the pond like where you have to find a rake and get it into the pond and that's how you do that like oh my so god there's all I these love things. that yeah just like <laughs> so random just bullshit yeah you're just basically like a goose and your whole the whole game is just like you trying to figure out like how to fuck shit up in these specific <laughs> ways i love that that's incredible so i'm looking it's at really the good. The egg uh, stills for it, and it looks so cute. It's really cute, and um, it's fun because it's sort of a stealth game. Because a lot of the time, the things that you need to move around, if the people, the humans in the game, see you with them, they'll stop you and they'll take them back. But then that's also really fun because, like, you can some of them like get scared of you when you honk at them, or. Like, it's just fun to honk at people because they react to it. Like, it, so that's always enjoyable. You can kind of push them around with your body, but then they can also push you back. And um, another thing I really, really like about it, which you can kind of hear in the trailer, um, is uh, the sound design. Like, other than the, like, slapping feet and stuff, like, when you're not on any human's radar, like, when you're not being noticed, it's, like, pretty quiet. Like, you can basically just hear yourself walking around. But the moment that a human is has noticed you, like, whatever, whether they're angry or whether they're just afraid of you or whatever, they, um, it's, uh, you start hearing music, piano music, like, it, mm. and if they, if they only have slightly noticed you, then it'll still be kind of, like, slow and calm or whatever but if like if you're like in an actively in a fight with a human then it gets like really like a lot of piano music and like really intense so it's like it's cool because it doesn't ever tell you it's doing that but over like we're on like i said we were in like the second area before before i came in here and we had just started to realize that that was happening and it was like we were almost being conditioned to to realize it without Hmm. having to know you know wow this looks So, so fun it's so fun and and I think I think there's like it's also not the sort of puzzle game where like there is a strictly correct answer to how to do everything. Mm-hmm. It's just sort of like it's not it's almost like in its little box area. It's almost like an open world game. Like you're in you're in a confined area and you only have like a, a certain number of humans to deal with and tasks to do, but you you can do them however you want. Like you can brute force it or you can, you know, some things will never work, but, but you know, if you circle around a human enough times, you could sneakily steal the groundskeeper's keys, but you could also like spin them around in circles and then just like mash a at the right time. And then you get them off of him, you know, like the, the, it's just fun. It's just, it's just fun to be a it goose. Sounds just, amazing. Like, fuck around. Yeah. Yeah. So it is. I've always yeah, thought that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I it's recommend been being a goose. I don't know how much we paid for it. So nice. Oh, Twenty thousand dollars a pound. <laughs> 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 Untitled Goose Game Price. Let me tell you. Nineteen ninety nine. Oh, I think it's on sale right now, probably for fourteen ninety nine. <gasps> oh, That's five fewer how dollars. Much is that? <laughs> How much is that a pound? Look, you did it. You're right. <laughs> Hannah, you did it. I did it. Oh my gosh. My first first try. Oh my gosh. Ben, are you going <laughs> to buy that? Yeah, but I don't have a Switch with me right now. Fuck. Thanks for reminding me. Here's the that. entire... Why don't you have a Switch? Kylie has it. Oh, well, I thought nice. you had two. Oh, why would we have two? They only have oh. one and halfway through they're going to switch. Can I... <laughs> Can I read the little blurb on the Nintendo's website about this game? Yeah. The title is, It's a lovely day in the village and you are a horrible goose. 
<laughs> Untitled Goose Game is a slapstick stealth sandbox where you are a goose let loose on an unsuspecting village. Make your way around town from people's back gardens to the high street shops to the village green, setting up pranks, stealing hats, honking a lot, and generally ruining everyone's day. Featuring a yeah. horrible goose, that's you. A town full of people <laughs> just trying to get on with their day, you hate them. A dedicated honk <laughs> button, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. That's it. That's the whole description. That's fucking incredible. Yeah, it's a really fun game. I I recommend. I will get once I get this. The plan as of right now is for me to get the switch back at Thanksgiving. Uh, whether or not Kylie comes, if not, she's gonna hand it off to you guys somehow so that I can play Pokemon, which comes out the week before Thanksgiving, or the week. See, they are gonna switch. Yeah, switch is gonna switch hands. (laughs) <laughs> hams is that a good laugh should I always do that laugh it creeps me out a little bit <laughs> so, it was great it was wonderful yeah so therefore it was great <laughs> cool wow well, well, neat Hannah thank you I made it no house house made it house house is the name of the house house goose <laughs> <laughs> so yes let's do homework Aaron, Me. What's your okay. Hello. My homework is to check out the Bon Appetit food cast. More like Bon Appetit. Podcast. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so check when you that first out. Said, when you first said the Bon Appetit food cast, sorry, I forgot to say this. I thought that you were talking about yes, like the cast. I thought the exact same the thing. Po- yeah. Of the uh, show, And I was like, show. this definitely Cheers. does count as a repeat. <laughs> yeah no it's called the food cast which i mean they should just call it a podcast mm. i originally wasn't going to participate in referring to it as a food cast but if you're going to find it it is called the bon appetit yeah, they should cast. just call it the it's bon appetit podcast, podcast. Mm-hmm. yeah i don't know why they felt like they had to like throw that little sprinkle of fancy in there rapo that's got rapo written all over it <laughs> <laughs> probably so check that out. I believe it's weekly. Weekly. Sweet. So you can have one a week. I think. Did you, did you say weekly? No, I said weekly. Oh, weekly. Okay. Weekly. Sorry, weekly. No, that's okay. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> no social media is anymore. I'm not on social media anymore. That's cool. <laughs> Ben, what's your homework? <laughs> my homework? I thought I'd end that with a story. <laughs> Go, Ben. My homework is to watch The Righteous Gemstones on HBO. Get, so, get, so, get, so, get, a, get a login it. from someone. Get on there. Watch it. Uh, Ben's punching my his Twitter sentences with a thumbs up. Is nicely proved Ben. Get on there. Look at that thread I made of all the cute Hazel pictures and that cute article with a bunch of baby pictures of my sweet girl when she was six weeks old. Uh, my Twitter's nicely proved, Ben. Get, get, keep on working. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Well, cool. Testing out uh, new Keep it up. Yeah. Keep it up, champs. What? Keep it up, champs. <laughs> keep fucking that keep chicken. Keep fucking that chicken. Yeah. But Basically. he's gay. <laughs> Have you guys seen that? What? It's like one of those news bloopers. Where yeah, I said keep fucking no, that no. chicken. Have you seen But oh. He's gay. <laughs> it's, no, it's, I haven't seen that one, sorry. Anchorman is like, uh, <laughs> this, this man just climbed the tallest mountain on the earth, but he's gay. I'm sorry, he's gay. <laughs> he's blind. <laughs> 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 you can only be one or the other that's a little known fact <laughs> um, uh, uh, please send that my, I don't yeah, know I will. Is, uh, my <laughs> it's so good it's so good okay Sorry, my homework 
my homework is go play Untitled Goose Game on the Switch and just do it. It's fun. Do it. And do it. And my Twitter and Instagram are both at Hanthropology, like a study of people with an H at the beginning of it. And I have another podcast called So Dreamy. We talk about dreams and lots of other things through the lens of dreams. Don't watch it yet. Finish your homework. Okay. I didn't. I didn't. I literally just saw the headline for it. And <laughs> I know. I had to stay a little left. Um, uh, we have a phone number if you want to call us to tell us what your obsession is this week or what you thought of anything we talked about. You can do that. Um, at our voicemail, 774-326-0420. Blaze it. Blaze it. <laughs> wow. Okay. And we also have um, social meds. We have a Twitter at Too Broad Pod, T-O-O Broad Pod. We have Instagram, Way Too Broad. And email, if you want to email us um, your obsession instead of calling, you can do that, waytoobroad at gmail.com. Um, and also, if you missed anything that we said, any of the homework, or if you any, miss us, like, or if you miss us, you can go yeah. to our website, waytoobroad.com, for anything you want, uh, or earnben.com for anything you need. Wow, it's a throwback. Earnben.com, still around, gonna be around for at least another year. Yeah, thanks, forever. Aaron. <laughs> forever. So the internet gives its final good night. <laughs> <laughs> If you had a good time listening to the pod, you should tell us on Apple Podcasts or wherever you're listening that you can leave a review. And we'll so appreciate it. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely thank you on the show. And we want to know what you're obsessed with. If you've got an obsession and you're just waiting to burn in to tell somebody, give us a call. Leave us a voicemail. Turn and blaze it. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Uh, Cool. So that's it. So the podcast candle is new. It's a new fragrance today. And What's the flag? The fragrance is hidden. <laughs> is that it's what wild- it's called? <laughs> <laughs> it's wild sage and aloe. Oh, that sounds nice. It's pretty nice. It might be giving me a headache. It smells fine, but sometimes they do. Get Weird. another yeah. one. We'll see. We'll see how it goes next week. Anyway, now it's going to be extinguished. Anyway. Goodbye. We love Bye-bye. you. Bye. We love you. Mount Everest video. <laughs> we'll put it up on the line. On the line. Bye. <laughs>